Therefore will he be exalted that he may have mercy upon you for the Lord is a God of judgment. Blessed are all they that wait for him. For the people shall dwell in Zion at Jerusalem, thou shalt weep no more. He will be very gracious unto thee at the voice of thy cry. When he shall hear it, he will answer thee. And though the Lord now give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, and yes, I am going through many trials and tribulations, yet shall not thy teachers, the angelic beings that guard me and keep me, be removed into a corner anymore in order to keep them restrained, but then I shall see thy teachers, because I will then be just exactly like Christ and God the Father, a spirit of the family of God. And in the meantime, Daniel shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. When ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left, Isaiah 30, verses 18 through 21. Rejoice ye with Jerusalem and be glad with her, all ye that love her like I do. Rejoice for joy with her, all ye that mourn for her, for all the wickedness and all the religious confusion. We see there today a Masonic Zionist Jews and Jesuits controlling everything there. That ye may suck and be satisfied with the breast of her consolations. That ye may milk out and be delighted with the abundance of her glory. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will extend peace to her like a river, and the glory of the Gentiles, the pagans and heathen, like a flowing stream. Then shall ye suck, ye shall be born upon her sides, and be dandled upon her knees. As one whom his mother comforteth, so will I comfort you, and ye shall be comforted in Jerusalem. And when ye see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like an herb. And the hand of the Lord shall be known towards his servants, and his indignation towards his enemies. Isaiah 66, verses 10 through 14. Notice this psalm. God judges the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. Psalm 7, verse 11. And also this one, the Lord trieth the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence like Putin and Zelensky and other Jesuit warmongers like Biden, his soul hateth. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone very soon, and an horrible tempest like the ones we all had recently. This shall be the portion of their cup, Psalm 11 verses 5 through 6. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence, a fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous round about him. Psalm 50 verse 3. So he tells those who are his people and faithful servants like me now, Come, my people, enter down into thy chambers, into your own room or place of safety, and shut thy doors about thee, hide thyself as it were for a little moment, until the indignation of God Almighty be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood, and shall no more be able to cover her slain. Isaiah 26, verses 20 through 21. He further declares this in Isaiah 35, verse 4. Say to them that are of a fearful heart of mine, Be strong, fear not, behold, your God will come with vengeance, even God with a recompense. He will surely come and save you. Jesus Christ will come with anger, fury, and wrath. For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with his chariots and horsemen, like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his word, God's word, the Bible, will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Isaiah 66, verses 15 through 16. Behold the name of the Lord, the great I am, coming from far, burning with his anger, and the burden thereof is heavy. His lips are full of indignation, and his tongue as a devouring fire, and his breath as an overflowing stream shall reach the midst of the neck to sift the nations with a sieve of vanity and pride like most arrogant China, Russia, North Korea, Turkey, Iran, Australia, the US and the UK and others as well like the soon coming Fourth Reich of Germany that will show its ugly head in a new European Union and beast power coming up. And there shall be a bridle in the jaws of the people, yes! He also told a prophet friend of mine that he will return when you would still see people like we see nowadays wearing these bridles and stupid masks all over the world again. Causing them to err. Isaiah 30, 27 through 28. Verse 30 now. And the Lord shall cause his glorious voice to be heard and shall show the lightning down of his arm with the indignation of his anger and with the flame of a devouring fire with scattering and tempests and hailstones. And I will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for their iniquity, and I will cause the arrogance of the proud, the gay pride, to cease, and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible global elite. I will make a man more precious and fine gold, even a man, than the golden wedge of Ophir. See also Isaiah 4 verse 1. 
Therefore I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place, in the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger. And it shall be as the chase road, and as a sheep that no man taketh up, they shall every man turn to his own people, and flee every one into his own land. All these aliens and immigrants will go back to their country of origin, because Christ will make sure that they go back where they belong. Isaiah 13 verses 11 through 14. God is particularly angry with the modern day house of Israel, the U.S. O house of David, that said the Lord, execute judgment in the morning and deliver him that is spoiled out of the hand of the oppressor. Lest my fury go out like fire and burn that none can quench it, no firemen, etc. Because of the evil of your doings, behold, I am against the O inhabitant of the valley, they who live in Silicon Valley, and rock of the plain, the Rockies, say the Lord. We say, Who shall come down against us? We are the United States. Or who shall dare enter into our habitations? But I will punish you according to the fruit of your doings, saith the Lord, and I will kindle a fire in the forest thereof of your land, and it shall devour all things round about it. Jeremiah 21, verses 12 through 14. God will judge everyone by his Son, Jesus Christ. Behold, the Lord hath a mighty and strong one, his Son, which is as a tempest of hail and destroying storm, like we had recently all over the world, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing, like we have seen now all over the world, shall be cast down to the earth all these rivers in the sky with a hand. Isaiah 28, 2. I want you to notice this description of what the prophet Jeremiah saw in a very interesting prophetic vision regarding the punishment Christ will give this world when he returns. I beheld the earth, and lo, it was without form and void, and the heavens were also, and they had no light. I beheld the mountains, and lo, they trembled. There will be many more volcanic eruptions, and all the hills moved lightly. I beheld, and lo, there was no man, and all the birds of heaven were fled. I beheld, and lo, the fruitful place was a wilderness, and all the cities, Washington, D.C., New York, Las Vegas, L.A., Paris, Pyongyang, London, Amsterdam, Seoul, Beijing, Paris, Rome, Moscow, Oslo, etc. Thereof were broken down at the presence of the Lord, and by his fierce anger. For thus hath the Lord said, The whole land shall be desolate, yet will I not make a full end. For this shall the earth mourn, please Matthew 24, 30. And the heavens above will be black, because I have spoken it, I have purposed it, and will not repent, neither will I turn back from it. Jeremiah 4, 23-28. Behold, the whirlwind of the Lord goeth forth with fury, a continuing whirlwind like the ones we have seen recently in the U.S. It shall fall with pain upon the head of the wicked. The fierce anger of the Lord shall not return until, until he hath done it, and until he hath performed the intents of his heart, his mind. In the latter days, the days we're living in now, ye shall consider it. Jeremiah 30, 23-24. Please get also a copy of my book, No More Mr. Nice God, The Fury and Wrath of Almighty God Upon Humanity. Now you would probably say to me, but Apostle, not everyone in the world is bad and sinful. There are still many good people out there. But this is not what your Bible says, notice. As it is written, there is no one righteous, not even one. There is no one who understands, there is no one who seeks God. All had turned away, they had together become worthless. There is no one who does good, not even one. Romans 3, 10 to 12. Also notice Psalm 53, verses 2 to 3. God looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand his ways, that did seek God. Every one of them is gone back into error. They are all together become filthy. There is none that does good. No, not one. And Jesus further said this in Matthew 19, 17. So Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but one that is God. But if you want to enter into life, keep the commandments. Jesus is plainly stating that since God is the only one who is good, no one among all humanity can truly claim to possess goodness. So as you can see, my friends and listeners, this is serious business. Please repent now. Until next time, this is Apostle Jesharun saying, Goodbye, friends. You have heard the messenger of the Lord with Apostle Jeshur preparing the way for the return of Jesus Christ. For more information on this podcast and this program, you may write us by email at Jeshurun, Apostle of the Lord, at AOL.com. Again, 
that is Yeshurun, Y-E-S-H-U-R-U-M, Apostle of the Lord, at AOL.com. This podcast was sponsored by the New Radio Church of God and the Plain and Simple Truth Ministries and by the free will offerings, tithes, and donations of those who are listeners of this podcast and are supporters of this great work of God. The preceding program has been a Plain and Simple Truth Ministries presentation.